Welcome back to Treasure Hunting with Jeeves, guys, and today we finally got some good looking units. This one does not have much in it, but there looks to be a few gems, and we only paid $30 for the unit, so there's a lot of room for potential profit. Without further ado, let's dig it. Alright guys, so there's not much in here like we said, but there's two things that really drew me to the unit. One, those look like swords, and if those are three swords, it's not the most profitable thing, but they are cool to collect. Two, this, well, which you kind of just now saw was in there, so kaboom, a Sega Genesis. The classic, they're not that expensive, but this is the remade one. Hey, look. <laughs> not for resale, Jim. 25 bucks right there, look at that. I didn't even notice this, I was just talking <laughs> about the console itself. But we actually have a second Genesis cartridge in there too. That's pretty G. But that's the, if you guys aren't gamers, I'm pretty sure this is the remade one. Yeah. Classic game. Yeah, 2016. So this is not the original or anything. But I still think they sell for like 30 or 40 bucks. So, not bad. Actually, yeah, 40 bucks. Has it right on top. Should have paid attention to that. $40 for those. Just, right here. All right. So if we got one cartridge, maybe there'll be more. Let's see what's in here. Hotel tailored bed skirt, okay. Powder, foot powder, beautiful. So you know, any shoes in this unit are probably not gonna be very sellable. What is this coat, it's heavy. Or has it got something stuck on it? Columbia. Columbia, I don't know if that's really expensive. I see these a lot, but I feel like they're work coats. I see a lot of people that are like on construction sites and jobs like that outside have these on, so I'm gonna assume they're probably not that expensive. They're just thick, with two C's. <laughs> Alright, what else do we got? Looks like a bunch of bathroom junk. I see axe, toothpaste, toothbrushes. And yeah, that's pretty much it. What is that? Oh yeah, there we go. Mm -hmm. Always gotta find a bong. You know, it's kind of classic now, but or a little pipe, not a bong, my bad. Not a druggie, <laughs> sorry. I know somebody will say in the comments, wow, just like how they smoke weed. If I mean you're a druggie, jeez, you should know your weed. Respect weed. They worship it like it's a freaking god. But anyway, let's keep going. This looks like all clothes, but who knows what could be under them, so we gotta move it around. Yeah, that's all clothes. Let me set them out here. I don't know. Should set them on the cart, but you know. But it's behind the door, we'll get it. Yeah. Epic rope cup. Oh, there, what else do we always find, guys? Kaboom! It's like clockwork. We already found the pipe, and now we found the freaking condom. We're cursed. Ew, stink bug. Put it to that already. I see a little key. Maybe they mean there's a little safe somewhere. Got some pennies. Sports Illustrated. Look at that. Rated R. Rated R. <laughs> All right, let's get this one out of here, chill. It's like, you know this guy has two sets of drawers and no dresser. Yeah, what do they do with the dresser? I mean, we're not going to complain because that would be the annoying part, but with the drawers here, that's kind of cool. What else is going on? Oh yeah, these are open. That's beautiful. Well, that one's open. That one's still new. Yes, yeah, pictures. Yeah, I'll try to take that stuff back to the front. Remember, we... The um the guy up front told us that if we find a license plate to bring it back up front, so they have to take it to DMV or something. Yeah. These are all like e vapes or whatever. I don't know what this whole vaping thing is, man. Let's get this out. We got just like a first aid kit, I guess. What is it? Like a first aid kit. The poncho, like emergency kit. Emergency poncho. Oh no, two what? No. Am I the only one who gets annoyed? I gotta put this out there now that we're talking about ponchos. You ever go to like a grocery store or a Walmart and you're about to leave and it's like slightly drizzling and there's like 500 people piled in that little spot between the doors and the store like, what? It's just a little bit of water. It's not gonna kill you. Some people act like they're allergic to water. Let's get this sucker out. Anything in there? Mm -hmm. I see pictures. Don't want to show that. Uh, no. Oh. How about anyone want to take a guess? We open this up. What it's gonna smell like? Oh yeah, <laughs> nice and strong too. 
All right, but whatever, not my thing, not my problem. Put the pictures over here. Are so dumb. Why? Why some place in the other one? Oh uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> Teaser. We got another one. Oh yeah. Spoiler <laughs> alert. What is that? Is that a shop vac? Looks like a shop vac to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it says on the side. It's a shop vac, so cool. That could be, I mean, that's the unit pretty much right there. Alright, so we go through the basket first. Here. That wolf picture looks cool. Eek. Okay, that's kind of supporting though, so we're gonna go through yeah. these first. <laughs> Who is that? Some WWE fan tell me, or Jai Dog? Is that a wrestler? Not anybody I've ever heard of. But if anyone knows who that is, let me know. He's from 1984. Ten years before I was even born. A little dusty there, bud. Wow. We got God of War. Hey, it's actually in there. God of War is not like overly priced, which is not like a $1 game. Shogun Fight. This is a local MMA organization. I used to go to these all the time. It's so cool. That's kind of weird. I feel like I might have been in the same stadium as this guy at one point, because I went to a lot of them, especially back then. We got, what is that? There's the God of War manual. There's some Eagle. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the case, just so it's complete game, because that's all I was missing was the manual. Complete God of War. What is that? Oh man, you know what this is? It's hard to read. These are handwritten cheat codes. Gamers, tell me this does not bring you back. The days before you have to buy the cheat code books or you used to have to print them off on Google. Handwritten cheat codes. I've not seen that in a long time. I used to have Grand Theft Auto Vice City inside it. I have like a list of all the cheats. What's on the back? Uh, another one. Yeah, I don't know what that is. It doesn't look like cheat codes to me on that one. Yeah, that one looks a little more personal. And we got, uh, looks like a textbook maybe. Maybe. Some of these books have a lot of value. Some of them are pretty much just donated. I see like old cassette tape. Ooh, I see a watch. What is that? Ew, it's really rusty and dirty, but it's a fossil. I haven't found that yet. It's supposed to say Rolex. Look at that. Old Spider-Man comic too. August 1st, it doesn't say a date. When it was new, it was five bucks. Oh look, June 1995, my bad. That's pretty old. I literally, I think I just watched something the other day. This is the comic book from the 90s, are some of the least valuable. I feel like I just watched this yesterday on YouTube. But, other than that, well look at that, is that an ancient Bible? It is. This has everything of a treasure hunting with TV storage unit is supposed to have. So far I found bong, weed remnants, condoms, and Bibles. What else do you need in storage units? That looks like all it's in this one. I'll take this out really quick. What is that? So we got a weird case. What's in the case? Dun, dun. I don't know why I do that stupid beat, but I do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what the heck is this? We have, oh, it's a keyboard. Look at that. Play it, does it work? That seems like it's not, oh, it wait, works, it's yeah. stuff. You might blow through that. Ew, okay, I'm not gonna be the one to I'm not saying it. do it, just, I guess <laughs> that yeah. doesn't mean. Yeah, it looks like it's exactly what it is. Huh, could have some value to it, I don't know. Instruments are one of those things too, I say this a lot, there's a lot of things like that, you know what I mean, where one of them's worth $2, one of them's worth 2000 you just don't know, you gotta take it to somebody, it's an expert. Let me put this out here just to be safe. All right, where are we at? Oh, I thought that was a PS4. But Breath of the Dragon, Blu-ray, Bruce Lee. This guy was definitely in the martial arts. He had to fight the MMA tickets, some Bruce Lee stuff. Uh, do we have more weed, I bet? Let's see, I'm just curious. Oh yeah, and he's a pothead. And we got just a bunch of DVDs. All right, so we're getting closer to what looked like the sword. If they're not swords, we're gonna cry out. Oh, I see a phone. A phone? Oh man, all the swords. What? What's this fuzzy thing? Let's see. I wouldn't touch it barehanded. Hmm. It might be just a phone case. 
But uh, LG, let's see if it cuts someone. Where's the power button on this sucker? Oh, there it is. No. Oh well. What is that? Little thing. The Book of Mormon. Okay, I never like, I don't know anything about the Mormon religion. The only thing I know is the South Park upset about it, which is hilarious. So, if you're Mormon, don't be offended. Some jeans. What is that? Sour Diesel, 84% THC. There you go, man. All right, so we got the phone in there. Okay. Oh, we're still not down there. Where are those swords? The, uh, I think the very next one. The next one? Yeah. We're getting there, we're getting there. Real love. No, nothing in it. Valentine's Day just passed us. Who had a good Valentine's Day? DVDs. DVDs. Make sure nothing's rolled up in these clothes. What's in the bag? A bunch of loose CDs. Yeah, just a bunch of loose CDs. Zigzags. All right, now is the one we've been waiting for. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and limb and say we do got swords. They look like it, but with the Bruce Lee stuff, the MMA stuff, we got a martial arts guy here. So fingers crossed, that's what it is. Let's see. Oh yeah. Nice. Let's do this out first. Nice. Let's check these suckers out. Ooh. That is, that's, this one's actually really sharp too. I don't know how well you can see the blade. A lot of them are really dull when you find them because they're just like wall hangers or collectors. That one's sharp. That's pretty sweet. You wanna see the handle up close? It's like a dragon head on it. And it comes out really quick. You know, samurai style? I mean, I'm not a samurai, but it's pretty cool nonetheless. Let's set that one out. This one looks old. Check out this sucker. Oh, is it just a stick or is it actually a sword? Looks I don't like think a, it comes something out. made out of wood. No what? I think it's just like a whole one piece like wood looking sword. Yeah. Cause it's like sharp and it looks like it should be a sword, but like that white thing there makes it look like the handle's stuck in there right here. But maybe it's just a stick. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this one too, that's definitely gonna be a sword. Oh yeah. Ooh, look at that long one right there. Hey, guess what, George? We got two this time. <laughs> What's up with us finding stuff and for the first time and finding it over and over again? Like the first yeah. time we find a PlayStation 4, we find the next one or another one, the next unit. First time we find a sword, just the next unit after that? I think so. First time we find a sword, we find two more swords. Maybe three. That's pretty cool. Let's get into the last thing down here. Some food. I don't know why people store food. It always weirds me out. There's like a, what do they call it? Rosemary or something? Rosary. Rosary. <laughs> Rosemary. All DVDs again. And let's see, a lot of glasses. What's in the sheet bag? Those are all DVDs again. The only reason I keep checking them because I'm hoping one of them will be games and not DVDs. All DVDs again. So, a lot of declutter stuff, probably. And other than that, are these just personal? Oh, no they're not. Look at that. Somebody tell me who that is. That looks really old and autographed. 34 on the Bears. Number 34. Huh. And it's even got, I don't know who's, who's a sports collector and who's not, but they put those little things down there to authenticate the autographs. I do collect a lot of UFC, not football. So I know about all the authentication processes and whatnot, but I do not collect football. That's pretty epic. But anyway, guys, that's just about gonna wrap this one up for $30. Are we not going there? Nope. Oh, crap. Remember, we left it because we had to Oh, yeah. The drawers. One more. One more. Man, this guy's got, this is a good buy for 30 bucks. Is that another one? 1985 Chicago Bears. It's not signed, though. I wonder if this guy had a family that was in the Bears. 
That would be epic. What if he was in the bears? What if we oh, had a man. former bear? Oh. oh my god, I used to get these all the time. Look back James then. Barner. Max back Holland. all the way. Joe back Benavino. then before he was anybody. Uh oh. That's epic. This, for you guys that don't watch UFC now, Max Holloway is like on a what 11 fight win streak, one of the most dominant champions in the entire organizations. Back then, he was nobody. Wow. No one cared. That's how far people have come. We got to meet wow. Max Holloway quite a few times. He's a really cool guy. Those were special guests on this one. Yeah, because they were just like pro fighters. They weren't really nobody at the time. <laughs> That's so cool. That's cool. I see a jersey too. That looks like high school. Is it? No, maybe not. What is it? Nothing I recognize. Mm -mm. It's, it's Nike. Maybe college? <laughs> Not too sure. I see a blue case. Where? Right I don't know if it's Blu-ray or PS4. PS4 oh, is Madden 18. Madden 18. Oh, ah. trolled. <laughs> but there's a lot of discs in there, so it could be in there somewhere. Chicago again. This guy's either had somebody in his family that's on the Chicago Bears or just a huge, huge fan. Uh, let's see, let's see. Oh, look what we got. What's in there? Oh, it's a freaking calculator. Come on, it's supposed to be like a phone or a tablet, not a calculator. I'm suing this guy. <laughs> All right, let's try to get to do some more of this. Oh my God, is that what I think it was? That's Warrior Gym? Oh no, it's not. Oh. I thought this was the gym I used to work at. I <laughs> that used to looks work like the MMA exact gym. same shirt. It's the exact same design, but it's not there. I used to work at an MMA gym in high school, and I thought that was their shirt. I was gonna be like, this is getting really weird. <laughs> and it looks like all clothes other than that, though, unfortunately. Car payment, some cards. Let's see if anything's in the card. Why not? Let's open it. We're already here. Oh, it's from Geico. Happy birthday. Here's 5% off your freaking car insurance. 5% more. Oh, well. So other than that, that's just about sums it up. Oh, hold on. What's in here? Open. Nothing. Yay. Anyway, that sums it up. Awesome swords. Sega Genesis with that. That could be, have a lot of value. Someone's got to let me know who this is in the comments down below. And an approximate value, because I'm not a football collector. I'm a UFC collector, so I don't know. But I do know it's authenticated, so it's most likely 100% guaranteed to be real. Anyway, that's about sums this one up. Let's get it in the car, get it home, and we'll do a recap and let you know everything we found out then. So, see you then. All right, guys, so before we do a recap on this storage unit, I just want to point out one thing. A lot of you guys are insanely annoyed with, for some reason, knowing who's behind the camera. Hi. I don't know what it, I don't know what it is. I guess it's just the mysteriousness, the anonymousness. It is. I've never, I guess I've never officially announced this in a video, but I feel like I reply to a lot of comments, but I feel like every video I still get at least five people, why aren't you never on camera? Why aren't you never on camera? She's waiting until 50K, maybe, right? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe a little wait, bit wait, sooner. Wait. <laughs> but I will say, for those of you guys that are like extremely overly annoyed and just absolutely have to know, well, I'll give you kind of a hint. If you want to go to check out my brother's Instagram, he's the one that designed our channel art, as you can see with me in it. And he's going to be putting, he's already put in her in it. He's already designed it. We just haven't put it on our YouTube channel yet until she actually does the face reveal. But he is going to be posting it on Instagram for all you people that are just like, I got to know. So go check out the Instagram. I don't know if it is, I think it might be private. You might have to follow him just to see it. But if it's really bothering you that bad, go check it out on Instagram. The link will be on the screen. But anyway, now let's do a recap on this unit. So the biggest thing that came out of it was that signed football picture. I looked him up. What was his name again? Walter Payton. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I don't see how I could pronounce that wrong, but Walter Payton, I looked on eBay and signed pictures to him. The cheapest we can see them going is over $100 for actual images. Even just blank white paper with his signature on it was going for $75. But some of the pictures were going for a hundred, a little over a hundred. Some of them were closer to 200. Some cards were even like five or 600. So this, I guess the signatures are really rare, or pretty rare in the football world. Like I said earlier, I don't know anything about collecting football autographs, but I do know a lot about UFC if you go look around me. I probably have, I mean, honestly, close to $10,000 worth of UFC memorabilia all around me. All types of gloves and 
certifications and whatnot. So I know how the certifications work. I just don't know who these football players are. So we looked them up. Walter Payton, like I said, that's probably $100 or more. The other picture that has the whole uh, Chicago Bears team on it, we have no idea about that. I tried to look it up. I couldn't find anything exact. So if anyone could give me a price range on that, I don't know if it's old or if it's just a new print, you know, put in a frame and meant to look old. I have no idea. So if anyone has a way to verify that, let me know in the comments. By the way, we did find out the sword, most likely. The wooden one looks like wood is most likely like a practice. That's my guess now, because we looked it up, and apparently they do sell those. They're just swords made of wood for, I guess, for, like fencing and sword fighting. You don't really use real swords to try to kill each other. You know, you play with wood first, so I guess you can learn what you're doing. Most likely that's what that is, because all the evidence we found in the locker points to the guy being a martial artist, like we said. The Bruce Lee stuff, the MMA tickets, the MMA magazines. He was into it. Maybe not as into it as we are out here, but he was into it. Anyway, definitely an awesome unit for the price. Definitely a lot of fun treasure and really just sums up what this is all about. It's finding cool stuff for a good price. But anyway, that's going to be it for this one. So thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave it a big fat thumbs up. And if you're not already, hit that subscribe button for awesome treasure hunting videos all the time. If you do want to follow us on our social media links, they'll be on screen. Just click the links down in the description below. Make sure you follow us on whatever you have. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, peace out.